Welcome to Team Call. Happy New Year, everybody. It's so nice to see all your faces. Um, thank you for showing up. I'm not going to lie, last month the attendance was a little low for Team Call. I think it's like the lowest it's ever been in a couple years. So I was like, oh my gosh, is anyone going to come to January's call? So I'm really excited to see all of your faces. I know that the holidays can get really hectic. And I think the main goal of this call for me to have with you guys was that we reconnect and um, hopefully I inspire you guys to get on it with your business as we head into the new year. Um, and those of you who kept your business running in December, I'm so proud of you. Um, everyone else who's had their business running, like this isn't your first December, um, I'm sure you were able to reap the benefits of residual income. Let me see a show of hands that you guys um, we're able to enjoy the holidays. You, this may be your second December or third December doing this business, or maybe you're even six months into doing this business and you got, um, residual income. So you got a paycheck that included unilevel commission and that gave you some really great, um, income for the holidays and for December, whether or not you're really pushing in the business or enjoying the holidays a little bit with your family. Um, for me, I definitely reaped the benefit of the residual income and I was really, really happy to see what I had built and be able to share with you guys that the residual income is real. Um, so again, happy new year. I wanted to take this team call to reflect on 2019 and maybe share with you a little bit about how I prepared for 2020 and see if you can pick up some tips as well. I would love for you guys to share in the chat. Maybe you guys can say hello to each other. Maybe you guys can share um, a new oil tip. The essential oil that I grabbed to inhale for this team call is Balance. Um, I know we're kind of on the adaptive because that's our new product, but for me, Balance is still the one that really grounds me. Um, adaptive is something that helps me when I'm feeling really overwhelmed in my day, but Balance is something that grounds me when I get, when I get really nervous. Um, before team calls or before classes. Okay. I never have to ask you guys to chat. You guys are chatters. <laughs> um, so last team call, I ended with, where do you want to be in your business? Did anybody have any insights there or want to share that at the end of last month's team call, at the end of December's team call, I, I left you with the quote, where do you want to be in your business? Have you guys been thinking about that through December? Have you guys thought about that now as we head into the new year? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so I'm hoping that maybe that can help your gears turn a little bit. Alexa said, um, December was life-changing. Awesome, okay. Uh, you guys are awesome. Oh, Eichel said, I need to come in hot. I've been slacking during the holiday for real. You, you did so much, Eichel. Um, now I think it, you're going to come back to your business. It's all good. We get it. Um, okay. Let me just go over your current promotions. Can you guys see this? Is it too? Let me zoom in. Okay. Current promotions. I want to make sure that I go over this every month so that you guys don't get any confusion get confused um, and maybe you can get a little tip on how to talk to others about these promotions. Right? So the product of the month is Hinoki. It's a 5 ml bottle and Britt and I were talking about this in our mentor call today. She's like, what do we use Hinoki for? Like, I don't know. And so I was looking, she's like, I don't have the essential life book. And so I busted out the essential life book. I have the new one and there's no Hinoki in it. Um, so it doesn't, but it does have international oils because it has Manuka and it has Lipsy which is from the New Zealand market. Hinoki is the only other oil, I believe, that's international and you can only get it in that searching market. Um, Hinoki, we've never been able to buy. And I think the main selling point in selling the product of the month to people is that exclusivity. This is an oil that's exclusive to the Japanese market. And the only way you can get it is if you place a 125 PV LRP order. Yeah. Eichel got me my bottle of Hinoki, so I got my Hinoki. Um, let me just share with you what I found on doTERRA.com. 
I love these pages because I just feel like they're so thorough. They have one on every essential oil and this is on doTERRA.com that you guys can find. So see how it shows where it's sourced from and what it takes to make a bottle. Um, a little bit of fun facts. I want to show you guys this part. Or I want to I want to read you this. It's derived from the wood of the Japanese hinoki tree. Hinoki essential oil offers a myriad of benefits and uses. When it's used, hinoki's fresh, woody, and balsamic aroma provides a last, relaxing environment. It soothes your skin and is frequently used in personal care products, even perfumes, for its fresh and airy scent. So I feel like it gives you a little bit of an idea of hinoki in general. Um, it's a gentle oil when used on your skin. It makes a good alternative for individuals who are sensitive to other evergreen trees. Its main chemical constituents are alpha pinene and delta caneine. I don't want to say that wrong. The relaxing and soothing aromas make hinoki ideal for skin care or massages. One thing that I know about hinoki is that, um, oh, here, it's right here. Hinoki wood is so valued in Japan that by law, the essential oil can only be extracted from trees that have fallen. So you can't harvest hinoki trees to make um, the essential oils, right? You can only use the ones that have fallen. They're often used by bonsai artists. doTERRA utilizes byproducts from the timber industry and cold trees, ensuring that no part of these prized trees goes to waste. So I think it just helps to, um, you guys are so funny on this chat. It just helps to, you know, um, black spruce, right? Black spruce was one of the new oils that got released last year. And what what the, the guy did, the, um, the distiller, did was he used all the trees that got harvested that cover the grounds and then made it into essential oil, right? Um, so using parts of plants and trees that are just gonna be left um, and making sure to kind of like use what the earth has given us and not just getting essential oils from, from plants that we harvest, but getting essential oils that also are from plants that are just kind of left, right? So I love that, that type of story from Hinoki. Um, a really good example is that hinoki, the, the tree in general, um, well-built hinoki structures, so people use it in Japan to build things. Um, it can last thousands of years or more. One example is a pagoda temple in Nara, Japan. I've been there. It's really cool. Nara, Japan is where you see all the deer, and they bow to you, and you can feed them, okay? So the temple there was built in 600 AD from hinoki wood and is still intact today. Okay, oh, you guys are hilarious, I love it. Okay, um, so know that Hinoki is the product of the month. You can get the product of the month for free. You can get Hinoki for free. You cannot buy Hinoki unless you go to, the, go to Japan. Um, and what Aiko did was she did a Japanese order, right? You did a Japan order from the market online and you shipped it to your Japanese address. So you have to have a Japanese address to ship it to. Um, place a 125 PV LRP order by the 15th of this month and you get Hinoki for free. Can a new enrollment get Hinoki this month? I can't see everyone's faces. Can a new enrollment get Hinoki? If someone enrolls this month, can they get Hinoki oil? No because it has to be a 125 PV LRP order placed by January 15th. And you can't place an LRP order if, it, if you're in your first month of enrollment. Okay, I know I had to turn someone down about that. Um, okay, so another promotion that's happening is the 10% off product, which is every month there's gonna be a new 10% off product. Slim and Sassy Soft Gels is this month's I actually have two friends that take some incessant soft gels. I feel like it's funny. And it just helps to boost their metabolism. One of them is getting um, ready to get married this year. So she was on it. She's like, please, I need to order the Slim and Sassy soft gels. And I was like, perfect. It's 10% off this month. So if you have any friends that want to boost their metabolism, metabolism a little bit and they want to use a little bit of help, Slim and Sassy soft gels is going to be a really good one. Um, there is a 30% off promotion and it does end on January 15th. So I want to make sure that I go through this and make it really clear. There's two kits that are 30% off that you guys want to push and sell this month. 
you can reconnect with your customers that haven't ordered in a while or just reconnect with current customers that are on LRP and you want to wish them Happy New Year. 30% off Game Changer Kit. Deep Blue Rub, Copaiba, Peppermint. $62 wholesale, 50 PV. We can tell people, I'm going to help you make your New Year's order. Order a Game Changer Kit, add on Lifelong Vitality Pack, and you've reached your Add on Terazyme and PV Assist, and you've reached 125 PV. You'll also get Hinoki for free. There's also the Sweet Dreams Kit, Roman Chamomile, Serenity Soft Gels, Bergamot, and Calmer Blend. It's $80 wholesale and 60 PV. So none of these by itself equal 125 PV or 100 PV, but you can suggest things to add on, or you can have them get both of these kits. For both 30% off. And remember, it ends on January 15th. Okay, there is an enrollment promotion this month, and it's usually every January, um, where if someone enrolls in January with a 100 PV order, then they place a 100 PV order of LRP, 100 PV LRP order in February they'll get 100 free points that goes into their account on March 15th. It used to be called the New Year New You promo. I don't think they call that. It's like fresh kick your kickstart your wellness promotion. And I love that on the, the website. I just actually linked this into my bio on my Instagram because people can just read through this. Step one, enroll with 100 PV in January. Choose one of these kits, right? Step two, sign up for loyalty rewards. Place your 100 PV LRP in February. Step three, we're gonna add 100 points to your account by March 15th. And then it even suggests what you can redeem your points for. Stress management. This is 100 points. Copaiba balance, adaptive capsules, adaptive touch. Immunity. Copaiba soft gels. doTERRA on guard, doTERRA on guard sanitizing mist, breathe. Breathe respiratory drops. Focus. So you can get all these products for free with your 100 points. Okay. So you can send this link to people. And um, you can even read it yourself to just get really familiar with this promotion. Because if you guys haven't done this promotion before as a wellness advocate and promoted it, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. So if you enroll someone this month with 100 PV, and remember we have brand new kits. Alyssa, I'm not sure if you saw this yet, but we don't even have the regular kits anymore. We have four kits, starter kits, and these four are all over 100 PV or 100 PV or more. Enroll someone with a kit this month. Help them place a 100 PV LRP order in February. They will get 100 free points in March. So 100 free points enrollment promo. As long as they enroll with 100 PV this month and place a 100 PV LRP order in February. Okay, awesome. Some celebrations. Last month, top enrollers. Shauna had eight. Again, she's top enroller. Yes! Lay had three. Kristen had two. And at least one enrollment, Naomi, Eichel, Jamie, Michelle, and Giselle. Good job, you guys. I know, I know, I know the holidays takes a lot of our time. Um, so the fact that you guys were able to still enroll, even those of you who enrolled one person, is still really major. Just so you guys know, when you are a premier or silver rank, you have to. Shauna's a new Ash. Ah, she took over. She's a top enroller. Um, just so you guys know, if you close out your month at Premier Silver, in order to get an extra bonus from doTERRA, you have to enroll at least one person with 100 PV. So um, it's important to get one enrollment of 100 PV when you want to get that bonus for Premier and Silver ranks. So congrats to all of you who have gotten at least one enrollment last month. And congrats again to Shauna for being a top enroller. Um, we didn't have any new ranks last month, but I just want to let you guys know that we definitely should celebrate 
the ranks that were accomplished the entire year um, and the solid ranks that we have created, that you guys have created within your business. Raise your hand if you hit a new rank in 2019. I can't even see everybody, I'm so sorry. I feel like scroll through everyone. Raise your hand if you hit a new rank, director, executive, elite, any of those, silver, gold. Yay, awesome. I didn't, it's okay. <laughs> and raise your hand if you solidified a rank in 2019. Elite, premier, silver, gold, platinum. Awesome. Yay, congrats to you guys. Um, I don't think it's always about new ranks. I want you guys to be able to celebrate your solid ranks. I want you guys to be able to even celebrate hitting a rank again. You know, you hit silver and you didn't hit silver for like another six months. And you hit silver again in November. Please celebrate that. And then look at the difference from when you hit silver in February or July. I'm just throwing months out there because those are high volume months. Say you hit silver in uh, February and July. You didn't hit it again till November. I want you to look at the difference of how much you've grown, what where you were in your place of silver in February compared to where you were and where your business was in relation to um, November. Because if, if you hit the same rank, you've grown so much and you should be really proud of that. Um, some events that are coming up. Leadership retreat. It's March 11th through 13th. Um, that's this year. We're in 2020 now. It's in Phoenix, Arizona, and you have to be silver rank by the end of February. You have to hit silver at least once by the end of February. Is anyone going? Not me. Is anyone going? Kristen? Yeah? Kareem's aiming to, to qualify. Any other silvers? I was talking to Karine on the phone today and I was, you know, telling her um, when I went to leadership retreat last year, it was my second leadership retreat and I hopped on live with the team and I just, my biggest advice there was if you've been to convention and you haven't been to leadership and I had to pick between the two, I was really serious about my business. You can only afford one in an entire year and you want your business to move quicker, you want your business to rise more by the, by the next year, I suggest going to leadership over convention. If it's over and above, never been to leadership, maybe you've been to convention, I would suggest hopefully you at least make it to convention first. Um, I would choose leadership and I really suggest that you guys go to leadership. Convention, yes, you can watch on live stream, it's better that you're there. Leadership, you can't. Uh, leadership is three days worth of focusing on you and your business. Okay, let me know. Um, is anyone that's silver going? That's already a silver. Is anyone, any of you guys going? I know Iko isn't. Charity, not this year. Charity went last year. That's okay, you went last year. Um, Anybody else? I just want you guys to know um, the reason I'm not going is just some financial decisions, not because I don't want to go. Um, this will be my first year not going, and I'm so sorry that I'm not going to be there to support you. Um, Noelle, unfortunately, isn't going just because she's giving birth, and it sucks that the two of us aren't going in the same year, but know that the Isla Love team is going. Corrine is in a group message, so if anyone else wants to join in, that way you guys can all go together. Um, at the end of the day, you don't have to go with anyone. You can go for yourself and go for your business, but know that that's available for you. Okay, awesome. I really, really hope that those of you who qualify as silver can get there. Okay. Um, otherwise, convention, we are going. I am going. I'm going to convention. The one trip I can go to this year is convention. Anybody else? That is gonna be in September. Yay, charity! Okay. That's, sorry, Charity is the only person I can see on my whole screen. So let me let me just scroll through. Anybody else? Hold your hand up. Um, I can see Shauna and Sharice right now. Kristen, I can see you. Maybe Kristen went last year. 
Um, and I nobody else is showing their face. Okay. Kareem, Michelle, awesome. Chelsea, awesome, you guys. Please mark April 1st in your calendar. Um, we'll be in we'll be connected. Um, and April 1st is when all the hotels get released, and we're gonna want to get hotel rooms together. Trust me, it makes a big difference that we all stay together. I will leave it up to you, but I promise you it's worth it to stay together. Um, I go on to stay at the Grand. I'm down for that. <laughs> Not the other one. Oh my God, you're hilarious. Um, as long as there's rooms, we can all stay for sure. Okay, September 9th through 12th, April 1st. Put that on your calendar. That's when the room box get released. Convention is the event of the year where all the new products get released and you get to really connect your heart to this company. I went to convention my first year. I, I hit silver. As soon as I hit silver, I booked a flight two days before convention, eight months pregnant, and went to convention as a silver. I walked as a silver. I went back the next year as a diamond because convention was that major for me. Okay. So it's major. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it's pretty major. So I really hope you guys come. <laughs> Okay, um, I went over in our last team call in December that I wanted to do a, a little bit of a training in January and I didn't um, know exactly what it looked like. And now that I finally structured it, I just wanna release that to you. I'm gonna be doing a new year three part training and I wanna do this three nights in a row. Feedback from last month, especially Robin, she said weeknights is gonna be the best. Um, I've done trainings in the day at noon just because it works with my schedule. I want to make sure that this works with your guys' schedule. Um, weeknights at 8 p.m. next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I just wanted to see if you guys can make it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. After I explain it, I don't want you to say, yes, I can make it, and then hear what it's about and be like, no, I don't want to come. Um, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week at 8 p.m., three in a row. Wednesday at eight, I wanna go over business basics. Upgrading your account to your qualifying order to where you wanna start and the best place to get resources and training. And maybe talking a little bit about your purpose and your why. Thursday, 8 p.m., Hawaii time, for those of you not in our um, time zone, will be about structuring your business to premiere and keeping it very simple. I also want to help you guys get your first tier of the Power of Three bonus, $50. I also want to explain a little bit about the different ranks. First step from here, I would say. Then the third session is going to be about breaking through any business blocks, and it's a complete open discussion. Breaking through business blocks, you guys can submit some to me ahead of time. I can just kind of roll with it um, because sometimes I'm like, hey, anybody have a business block? And it's kind of silent, like there's crickets. And so I want to make sure I have some topics there that I can help you guys work through. Are you guys, it's next week, so sorry. Um, this coming week, the 15th, the 16th, and the 17th. I know you guys are serious about your business, so I know that Friday is okay. But if it's not, I'm open to moving Friday to noon. Okay. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 p.m. Otherwise, the next week I'm actually going to the Hawaii incentive trip. It's in Big Island, so I'm going to be there, just me and Lee for the whole week. And the doTERRA incentive trip. And then, um, otherwise I can do this in February, but I just feel like with everyone setting goals for the new year and some builders re relaunching, I really wanted to keep this in January. And I will record these as well. It's going to be weeknights at eight, just because that was, um, that was what was suggested, or that was what was said most at last team call in December, weeknights at eight o'clock. Okay, we're gonna stick to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this coming week, eight o'clock. Wednesday will be business basics. Thursday will be structuring to premiere. 
and getting your first power of three bonus. Friday is going to be open the kitchen, breaking through business blocks. Awesome. I'm so proud that you guys can make all of these. I will record it and then I will put it into Legal Drop Business Builders, this page. On my website, golddropsociety.com, Gold Drop Builders and Share, the password is I am golden. That's an affirmation. I have a whole thing on doing your business. So you can basically launch your whole business and all the trainings and all that. So I will record any calls and trainings that I do and make sure that I put it onto this website if you guys ever miss something. Okay? Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Um, then Saturday the 18th, 12 o'clock. I already released this, this date and time, so I hope you guys already have it on your schedules. Um, we're just going to do a New Year's gathering. It's open to everyone. We're just going to have a potluck. I didn't choose a location because I kind of wanted to leave it up to the team. I'm more than happy to have it at my house in my park. Um, but sometimes there's a lot of mosquitoes. Some of you have been to my house before. Um, so Amber suggested Foster's Botanical Garden, which is right in Chinatown. It's like $3 um, to get in, but it's like a beautiful garden that we can just all meet at. And we'll just have a potluck and gather together. We can probably do some, um, just some like goal setting and stuff. Or we can meet at Kapilani Park in our usual spot. What do you guys think? Foster's Botanical Garden. Yeah, it's in, I think it's in downtown. It's like above, right above downtown. Between, you know what I'm saying? Year's potluck. I'm scared to do this at Kamehameha. Can we even go on Kamehameha? Okay, either. Okay, let's, let's. Robin works on campus in case you didn't know Kristen. She works like three desks away from Paul, from my husband. Oh, Next room. Um, I have classes down there. Oh, people come up to campus? Yeah, like, because on the weekends, it's not so bad. Like, the gate's open. You just um, say where you're going. Yeah. But it's good because it's enclosed, and the kids can play on the park. That's why I like to do my classes there. And it's really cool. And then the kindergarten bathrooms right on the side are usually open. So if the kids have to go potty, it's, like, right there. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? So, it's yeah, the pavilion's there, too. Saturday, next weekend at 12 o'clock. Let me know where you guys want to meet. I'm guessing you don't want to come to my park with the mosquitoes. So it's between Kapilani Park, where we usually meet, or Kamehameha Elementary with the playground. Okay. Show of hands who can make it. Awesome. Okay. Let me look into Kamehameha. Otherwise, we'll do. Otherwise, we'll do Kapilani. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for um being here, everybody. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, I got a mind shift. Okay. Well, I just want to talk a little bit about reflecting on 2019. Okay. Um, I want to help you guys maybe reflect on it a little bit as well. Something that's really, it's not funny, but it's very interesting. Um, when I was scrolling through people's, now I'm shifting, so now I need oils. When I was scrolling through people's um, Instagram posts about the new year, I actually saw a lot of people say 2019 was a good year, but it had a lot of challenges. I'm not sure if because I was feeling that, I was attracting that and seeing that. Um, 
I don't know. Did, did you guys? Did any of you feel like that, or did a lot of you feel like 2019 was your was like your year? 2019 was such a good year. It was definitely my year. One of those high years, right? Oh, I'm so glad. Charity said it was rough. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 2018 was my year. 2018 was my year. 2019, I went in so excited. I was about to have another baby. Everything was in place. We were a diamond team. I walked as a diamond as, at convention at the end of 2018. As I headed into 2019, I just saw so much excitement coming, right? Um, everyone said 2000 was a little rough. Yeah, d sorry, 2019 was a little rough. Yeah. And it's not like 2019 wasn't a good year. It's just 2019 for me anyway, I had a lot of challenges. And then I was, as I was scrolling through Instagram, I saw a lot of people like, oh, I'm so excited for the new year. 2019 was great, but it was rough. It was challenging. And I was like, oh my gosh, was it just me? Or was it, was it like something happening in the universe? Was there a lot of Mercury retrogrades happening in 2019? Um, when I personally look back at that year, the universe shifts. Yes, I think so, yeah. Um, when I look back on 2019, I honestly, the first thing that I thought was I didn't know it was going to be so hard. I didn't have like hard times, but I was like, wow, I didn't know it was going to be so hard for me. I had a lot of challenges happening. Yeah. So, yeah, and I like that Michelle wrote that so much to be thankful for. And I think when you look on a year that has a lot of challenges or it feels a little rough, it helps you grow so much. And I think my biggest growth was gratitude. As the challenges kept coming, the gratitude kept sitting in. Don't cry. We can cry, we're allowed to, it's doTERRA. Um, I didn't know my year was gonna be so hard. And it's not like, it's just, I didn't feel like I was in control. I felt like I was overwhelmed and I was really exhausted as I didn't know how hard it was to have three kids. That's like my 2019. I was like, I was so excited to have a baby, my third baby. I had two under control. I threw in a third and I was just so overwhelmed. And the biggest thing that I kept saying the whole year was I'm exhausted. And so when I look back on it, I was like, I just, I can't believe that I felt like that all the time. It's kind of crazy. I don't want to feel like that. You know? Um, so Lee was born in May. And it was like baby bliss for sure. Coming back home and trying to do my business, it was a lot for me. Kristen, oh, who else is crying? We don't have to cry. We, it's okay, read some oils, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of you have three kids, like Kristen does. Um, I honestly had no idea it was gonna be this hard. When you have children, okay, when you have you, you have everything that you need to do to take care of yourself, including showering, brushing your teeth, using the bathroom, like all the really basic things. And then you have children that you have to do that for, basically. The more children you add in, the more work you add in, right? And then your older ones start to really feel a lot of emotions and they start to really need a lot of parenting. And you can feel really, really, really exhausted and really overwhelmed. Um, my baby wasn't sleeping through the night. She was breastfeeding like every hour or two and her weight was really low. Her weight was low. And so for seven months of her life, which was basically the whole rest of the year, I was struggling with the overwhelm of trying to get her weight in order. Mm 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you guys, it was a lot. And I just, I'm like sharing this with you because I just think that you guys could relate. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like meat oil. Thanks. Um, on top of it, I, okay, don't look at me. Um, on top of it, my daughter, she was born about a month after she was born. She had all these spots all over her body. They looked like birthmarks. And so, um, we had to do a lot of testing. And that's something that's really heavy on you when something's going on with your child and you have to get all these tests done. To figure out what it is and um, my daughter ended up being diagnosed with a really serious disease that she has to live with for the rest of her life that I haven't shared with many people <sighs> And so, anyways, I just wanted to share that because when things like that happen in life, it just weighs a lot on you. And it's hard to do the everyday things. And sometimes you bury it and you try to keep going. And you just get through it. And then I think the important thing is to just feel it and talk about it and let people in. And that way you can get the support and the love that you need in order to keep going. I'm sorry, I need a tissue. So anyways... Yeah, 2019 was really overwhelming. So I didn't know that I, that having three kids was going to be overwhelming. And then the fact that my baby, and we didn't know what was happening with her extra spots all over her body. And then her diagnosed and all of that stuff and the things and the extra doctor's appointments and then her weight being so low and all the things that I had to do there. It was a lot, and I know you guys had no idea, but when I look back on 2019, I'm just like, oh my god, it was so hard. I hear my daughter, like, throwing a tantrum in the next room. That's kind of crazy. My other daughter. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But I'm heading into 2020. I'm really excited. I just feel like I have so much to live for and so much to create for my family. I'm sorry, did I move on too fast? You guys can ask me questions if you want about what's happening. Um, but right now she's healthy. <laughs> she's okay. She just has um, a serious disease that could um, progress over time. So I don't really know what her life is going to look like. Um, but for now, she just has spots all over her body that I know I'm going to have to help her and deal with, like, self-image and stuff. Um, but otherwise, she's okay for now. But that took a lot of my year, just not knowing and um, knowing that one of the, ma the reason why she has this is because her genes mutated, which I blamed myself for. Because it it's my genes and my husband's genes put together and mutated, you know? Okay, so that was like most of half of my year. I gave birth. I had a baby who was underweight and a baby who was diagnosed with a disease. Um, 
and I still feel like I was able to stay on top of things as much as I could. I can't even talk about setting goals for 2020. Um, I just feel like I stayed on top of things as much as I could. And I'm just really thankful for what I've built. I've been in this business for three years. And what I've built is this residual income and this team. And so even if I felt overwhelmed, and even if I was going through so many things emotionally, my business still could thrive and it still could live on. And so maybe my message is that doTERRA can do really big things for you. And when you need time, doTERRA, your business is still going to keep going. Um, when I look at my business in general, I feel like I got the help where I needed. So that was a really, really big thing in 2019. I got a bookkeeper. I have a CPA. Um, I had an assistant come and help me pack up gold drop orders. And honestly, if I didn't have that help in place, I don't think I would have gotten through all the things happening with my, with my family, and with my kids. Um, and I do want to say that this year was a really, really good year. We reached gold as a team. We are a solid gold team. And we reached gold half of the year, six months. And we hit diamonds the other half of the year. I know it's odd that it's like, okay, you go from gold to diamond and never platinum. Yeah, that's just how it works out, weirdly, but it's okay. Um, so we're either gold or diamond. Um, we hit diamond for the first time in 2018, three times that year, at the end of the year. And I am just so thankful that we've even hit it half of the year for 2019. I think the biggest thing about 2020 is really solidifying diamonds. And um, when I look back on why am I not diamonds, I think that was, why am I not solid diamond? I think that was my biggest question as I headed to Kenya. I don't know if Eiko remembers. No, I'm sure you remember. Eiko, I was like, my biggest thing that I wanna figure out is why I'm not diamond, why I'm not solid diamond as I head into this doTERRA trip. I kept like saying it over and over and I'm journaling, 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 trying to, trying to get answers. I've gotten some, um, I've gotten some advice from Presidential Diamond who was there, she's amazing. And she was like, I talked to everyone, you guys. I loved making friends. Not everyone was a diamond. Um, there was one presidential diamond who was open, right, Karina. Um, and she told me, the answer is Diamond Club. The answer is Diamond Club. And you want to do Diamond Club with your team. I thought that was really good advice. And I was actually thinking about doing Diamond Club. And, and thinking about doing that with you guys. Um, I don't think I'm quite ready yet, but I think I found my answer. And it's funny because when you, when you ask questions, when you, when you want something, you ask a question and the universe will help you find the answer. So when we're looking at affirmations, we've done affirmations before, right? Affirmations and affirmations. In the morning, you wake up and you ask questions and you say, why am I so supported? Why or why am I so deserving? Why do I deserve everything? What was that? What was that quote from um, Pre-Elite? Why do I deserve everything? Um, whatever that, that I want in my, I don't know what it was. Why am I so deserving? Why am I, why am I supported? Why do I deserve this, right? Um, why am I good enough? And then at the end of the day, you tell yourself in the mirror, I am good enough or I am deserving. I deserve everything. Whatever you want to say for your affirmation, affirmation. Um, so I think by the end of December, the reason why I'm not solid diamond is because my retention rates isn't as high as it can be. 
I need to spend more time with my customers. I need to develop my relationships more with them. I've been enrolling people for over three years. I don't have a system. And when I realized that answer, I started 2020 a week before 2020 started. And I'm going through all the questions or all the things that I want to get better at in my business. And I started finding resources. You guys, I don't have a mentor because I outranked my mentor, my upline, right? I don't have a mentor right now. All I have is the resources that are available to me. So I was looking up things like how to create a social media content calendar, um, how to create an email funnel. Um, what, what is the best way to um, stay in touch with customers? What, what type of, there's, there's one that I, that I downloaded for free because it was an Instagram pop-up, 52 prompts. And what I liked about it is these prompts, what they are, are questions or statements that help you write out things, write out an uh, Instagram post. So maybe this week the theme is, these are the three ways that I stay motivated. And so in your Instagram post, you're going to write that. In the newsletter to your, um, to your subscribers, you're going to do that, or your doTERRA team, right? You're going to write that out. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the chat. <laughs> anyway, so I was trying to find, I love this chat. You guys, are, okay, okay, I'm closing it. Um, so just finding the, the different help that I need or, or listening to different things on, in all different areas. And then I was like, okay, where can I use more help? Um, I have, I do have a babysitter in place that I use once a week, if I need to, for Lee, not Gigi anymore, because Gigi is a little bit easier. Um, and so I was thinking, a social media um, person? I'm just running through my thoughts. This is not for you guys to think that you need to hire all this help. Um, and, and um, but social media is my thing. And so I didn't actually hire someone for social media, but I did hire someone as a virtual assistant. And that virtual assistant is gonna be in charge of getting a whole system in order and in place for me so that I can spend more time with customers. It's actually CRM streak because I didn't finish it, not gonna lie. Those of you who are doing CRM streak, I am actually gonna have her take the program and input all my contacts and help me to be able to, if I want to, find everyone who's not on LRP a lot easier and be able to message each of them. just little things like that and send birthday cards to each of my customers and each of the builders when it's their birthday. Send the mid-month numbers email and the ending month's email, which actually takes me hours to gather all the top enrollers and the new ranks and run all the numbers. It actually takes me a really long time. Um, being able to email different groups of people that's already grouped instead of me typing out each email one by one, which is what I do. So I put all of these things in place for 2020 and figuring out ways to up level. My biggest thing for 2020 is focusing back to me. I feel like I gave a lot to my family in 2019, um, which I really suffered, which my body suffered in like pain wise, immunity wise, sanity wise. And so 2020 is my year. Yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> How are you guys feeling about your 2019 and your 2020? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be reading these chats. Thanks for sharing and thanks for all the support. I think there's a lot of emotions that happen when you um, give birth. And then when you have a baby that like isn't the right weight. Um, and then when you have a baby that something could possibly be happening and going wrong, right? And you're just in this like emotional state where you, it's so hard. Um, I'm sure s some of you have been there before. Um, now that I have some answers and I know what to look forward to, I think I can be a lot more grounded in 2020 and, um, 
and then work really hard to create a life for my kids. If that doesn't give you, doesn't give me a why, I don't know what is, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys a couple things. Um, and then I'll read the chat so I can catch up on all of you. How can I support you guys in 2020? What gets you excited? And what do you feel you need in your business? I am actually really, really excited about 2020. Naomi said, I need other people like me to depend on. Hi, I didn't even know you were on here. Yay. Oh, okay. You need other people like you to depend on. Or what about someone one step ahead of you who's already been through everything that you've, not that they've had the same life as you, but someone who's already been through everything that you've been through and has come out on top. If you guys, yeah, the mentor, I love it. The example. Um, have you guys checked who you follow on Instagram, by the way? Um, like inspiration type of people? I've noticed a lot of, like say our doTERRA customers will be you a few years ago. So a lot of my doTERRA customers are people who don't have as many kids as I do or are just starting out to be a mom. Or, um, and then the people that I follow are women who are either like in a whole different profession that I've thought about, or women who are a little bit older than me, like 35-ish, 36, who are really successful and put together. Um, and then I do follow some moms who have like four kids. Because <laughs> I'm like, can we do that? <laughs> uh, not right now. 2019 was too hard for me. <laughs> But yeah, what kind of people do you guys follow? This, more builder calls, team stuff, it's community, awesome. I support you a lot, thanks Iko. Traveling and shopping gets you excited. I need to be held accountable for the shit I say I'm gonna do. So check me, okay. Iko, I love you so much. Um, okay, traveling and shopping gets you excited. I know, me too, so we gotta make more money. We gotta, we gotta work smarter and better. You got off social media. Alyssa got off social media, but she's obsessed with families that have five or more kids. Wait. I go, oh yes, I see your blanket. I couldn't see you on my screen because I'm sharing a screen. Yes, I go and I stole those blankets from Hawaiian Airlines first class. We stole it. It's the best. I have two now. One of them I gave birth in twice, and then I took one more for my other child. They discontinued Zixane. That's so funny. They use uh, Kialo Pico now. Um, yeah, so anybody else? What kind of support can I give to you guys in 2020? Do you guys like what I've been supporting or what I, the type of support that I've been putting out? Um, what gets you excited? I know Eichel said like travel and shopping, which is the same for me, honestly. But what, what gets you excited in the business? What inspires you? Or does that type of stuff get you excited to do your business? I want to shop. I want to travel. I want to buy a home. I want to live this life. I want to live a type of life. I want to create a future for my kids. And that's what gets me excited to show up in my business every day. That's definitely what is mine. So that was real. Um, if you guys haven't done a dream board yet, my dream board I've showed you a million times before is right above, here's my desk, I have my calendar, I have my social media calendar, I have this cute wall hanger from Not a Nest, then I have my dream board. Something that I did and I reflected on for 2020, and I did this last week, was I noticed that a lot of my dream board was future stuff, like things I want to accomplish in my whole life. And I wanted to focus really on what I want to do in just this year. 
So on each area of my dream board, I wrote a little thing that says 2020 and put goals that are attainable for this year in those sections on top of everything else. So my dreams didn't change, but focusing in on what I want to get done this year helps me to get a little bit more detailed and feel like I've actually accomplished something on this dream board. Yeah. Um, anybody else? Is there any um, programs that you feel like I can do for you guys to help? Okay, Alyssa likes the emails, that's good. Try, really try with the emails. Is monthly team calls good just once a month? Okay. Awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for letting me share. I'm not exactly sure if what I shared, the way I shared is what I wanted to get through, but I hope, oh my God, I don't even know what just happened, to be honest. That was very emotional. Um, but I just wanted to share and get that off my chest and then let you know that I'm like even more pumped to head into 2020 now that I got through that and um, set up a future for my family. And I hope you guys can maybe feel a little bit relate to it and maybe feel a little bit of fire as you head into the new year as well. I would love for you guys to let me know what your goals are for 2020. I It seemed like everyone had a little bit of a rough 2019 and it did have its challenges, but everyone's really grateful for what you do have. And I really think that in 2020, we can kick it up a notch. Um, 2018, team-wide, we were all reaching new ranks. Um, yes, 2019, we were really solid. Thank you again. Solid gold, solid, solid diamond. But I feel like 2020 is our year to really step up our game in life, in relationships, in, um, in yourself, and in this business. Do you guys feel that? Awesome. I love it. Okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week in our trainings. And then on the 18th, we'll gather and I'll send out an official invite. Okay. I'll let you guys go. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all so much. Have a good night. Bye.